Hello guys, back again with another video. Um, this is part of my taming series that I'm doing. Uh, just about, you know, all the, uh, you know, beginner levels, mid-levels, high levels, and then max level tames. Uh, for, like, comparison to your survival level. Uh, here's how to, uh, hide your sail, if that's how you're wondering. So this is unhide, and for some reason it keeps disappearing. If I look up far enough. Basically, you go into options, and it's just hide sale, so it's not in your way. Uh, just in case you're wondering. Um, so actually, uh, in a uh, video that will be coming out soon, uh, it's where I team a Triceratops, and I actually found a high-level Megalodon while I was doing so just kind of off the shore and I just saw it right through the water so I uh, thought it would be a good opportunity to get this video done uh, the megalodon will uh, fall under the category of mid-level teams which is uh, levels 31 to 50 and the saddle for a megalodon is uh, unlocked at level like 40 or no, maybe it's 48, I don't know. But it's somewhere in the 40s, so your mid-level teams are going to be like levels 31 to 50, and then your Megalodon falls in that category. Along with the uh, Deinonychus, Dodicarius, Ankylosaurus, Sarco, Sabretooth, Pteranodon, and a high-level Carnivorbaryonyx. And these are basically, you know, things that are going to help you along your arc adventures. Okay, so I found the shark here. This is a level 145 Megalodon. Basically what you want to do is you want to have two crossbows filled with probably at least like 40 arrows and uh, you want to have two crossbows just in case one breaks which uh, I don't know if it will but you know it's better to be safe than sorry so basically uh, you're going to want to shoot it and then whenever it gets close hop back on the raft and since it can't attack your raft it's aggro and so it won't want to attack you for the time being. But then it'll turn around. Like, after, you know, going on its little run, it'll turn around. Or its little swim, I guess. But uh, don't be afraid if it, if it like, runs from you immediately after you get on the raft. Uh, like, it's not the torpor, like, run away that it does. That, uh, like, all creatures do when they get close to being knocked out. It's just that it's lost aggro and it's trying to get away from you. Since it can't hit you, but you can hit it. Well, until you get back in the water after a, after a short bit, it should come back for you. So it's uh, it's nothing to worry about. So uh, these taming videos for all these videos, I'm gonna try to keep pumping them out. But you know, kind of limited to how much uh, mobile hotspot I have. So that's kind of the main issue. Um, I'm gonna you know, pump them out as fast as possible. Uh, I could put out some COD videos probably after I have all these taming videos done. Or maybe I'll put one like, you know, right in the middle. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like larger videos where it's like the beginner and starter level teams, which I've already put up on my channel. And then basically I'm gonna go through all those, do the individual taming. And then I'm gonna make, and then I'm gonna, you know, individually team like all the mid-level teams, which is what I'm doing right now, like the middle and on stuff like that. And then once I have all those teams, I'm gonna make a large video with them, you know, kind of explaining, you know, like what they're used for and stuff like that in the large video, or just like you know, what creature I'm part of that mid-level team. In. So that way you kind of know, you know, what's a team and stuff like that. You should be going down pretty soon, I'm not sure. But, you know, I've hit him a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> that, that, like, submarine beeping, I've never heard that before, and it's kind of scaring me. Because it, uh, what is it? It reminds me of, like, like, uh... Kind of like Jaws or whatever. It starts playing the music, and you like just hear that like submarine 
Boom. Boom. And you just kind of look looking around like, what is it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like it must be pretty close to being done because it lost aggro, so. Yep, and now it's starting to run. Come on. Oh, and it's down. <laughs> I'm glad that it stopped. <laughs> so my last arrow didn't hit because I would have hit the taming effect of myself. Yep, it's unconscious. And uh, that's why I killed this Brano over here. Is uh, just for some prime meat. I killed it earlier because uh, it was kind of in my way. And, but it just kind of happened to fall right next to the Megalodon. Like, right next to where it was in the water. And so I was like, oh, well, that's kind of a coincidence. I guess I'll use it for prime meat. Okay, so I got I got five prime meat out of this. Uh, I don't think that five will be enough to tame this ma this uh, level 145. Which on my server max level is 150. But I've been seeing tons of level 145s, so they're pretty much just as good as 150. Unless you're talking like T-Rex uh, for like boss fights, then you're gonna want to try to get at least, you know, 150, but 145 is always good. Not much of a difference, but I'm gonna put all this prime meat in, and then probably when I cut this, because uh, it'll be asleep, probably when I cut it, I will go kill a Stego or something, because Stegos and Brontos are the only creatures on this island. Not like the map called the island, but like this herbivore island. They're the only creatures that get prime. So I'll just kill those, get me some prime meat, and then uh, I'll put that in, and I'll bring you back once it's close to being done. Uh, five should get it to probably at least like 70% maybe. So it should get it close. So it, it'll probably take me like seven or eight pieces of prime meat to get it done. So, you know, that one's dead. I don't know. Shark. No, sharks don't even attack. It must have gone out of the water. If uh, dolphins like go up to the surface and like come out of the water too far, they'll just instantly die. Oh, it's not a high level. Oh, I also found out that there are alphas by my island. I might, might try to kill those, but. I'll see you back in a second. Uh, once we check out this uh, team, I'll cut it and then I'll, I'll see you once it's uh, all teamed up. And we'll try to kill an alpha. Uh, Alright, so I brought you back here. Uh, brought you back when it's uh, right close to teaming and my audio appears to be bugged. Uh, like it was in the uh, best location on the island video. Uh, I don't know why it keeps doing it. Um, uh, Cause it, like I can hear the audio, but for some reason the uh, like the video just isn't catching it for some reason, which is kind of dumb. But I don't know. Maybe I have to clear some clips out of my drive or something. I'll probably have to delete some COD clips or whatever. But. Uh, shouldn't be long. I don't know why, but I mean it's not like you need to hear anything in game. You're, it's just going to be the taming music and the fighting music. Uh, so I'm kind of going to show you the damage output and you know all that stuff. Uh, I, once this thing is tamed up, uh, I am going to saddle it up and I know there's an alpha behind my island. So I'll probably try and kill that for some levels on him. Here he is. You know, I saw him when he came up to the surface when he was wild. It looked like uh, he was like pink and green, but underwater looks like he's like gray and green. So I have to bring it up to the surface to look at what color it is. Because if it's pink and green, I think we know what I'm going to name it. You know. The obvious name. Oh yes, I will indeed get to name it. Exactly what you're thinking. She showers with man Pantene, but I got watermelon to keep me clean. Only hard level viners will understand that reference. There we go. 
If you're wondering, it's because, you know, I'm on Xbox, and so I use a controller. That's why it takes me so long to type in the thing. So we have watermelon here. We can go around, kill some things. Uh, one main thing is you're probably going to want to use this with it, along with, like, a scuba suit. So you don't run out of oxygen. But you also have to watch out for the durability of your scuba suit, because it... It will, you know, decrease, but it doesn't go down super fast, so it's not anything you have to worry about. There we go, that level. Uh, that low level shark we just killed. And then uh, I'm going to try to find this alpha. If I remember correctly, it was, like, towards the bottom of the water. Like, I, I saw it from the surface, but, like, it was pretty far down. So unless it's come to the surface, I'll have to swim all the way down and try to bring it to the surface. And uh, you can go back a few seconds and then pause that to look at all the stats this that thing had. Oh, there it is. There's an alpha. Alpha, what did I say, a 50? And there's another one here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll kill this one because this one's just a regular. Oh, wait, that's not a regular. Hold on a second. I could have sworn. Oh, okay, well, there's two alphas right next to each other. I'll kill this one first because it's a lower level. It's a level 20, I think it said. I should be able to kill it because if you look at it, you know, it's, it's doing 60 damage compared to my 320, but Alpha is also having a lot more health than regular sharks. So while I'm doing, you know, like, like five times the damage, it also probably has like two or three times the health that I do. And this one's just a regular shark over here. But I can't believe that there's two alphas right next to each other. I saw that level 50 and I was like, okay, I'll probably kill him in a second, but I have to go kill this other regular shark so they don't, they don't gang up on me. Which is uh, actually ended up what happening with this other alpha. Which is kind of cool, but really sucks that it's raining, of course, right as I'm trying to kill this thing, so it makes it all foggy and stuff. I'll try to put my camera under the water so you can see it. But yeah, there it is. Uh, any alpha species in ARC compared to its normal species is like, I don't know, probably not like 20%, but like 15% larger, probably. They are bigger, and oftentimes the alphas are usually like red, or like they're usually usually like albino, or they're like super red. So, oh, there it is. Should have given give me at least a few, probably like ten, probably like ten levels. And uh, I also don't have any like boosts on how much I get per level on my creatures. Oh, twenty, jeez. So we'll pump that up to ten k. I don't have any like absurd. Uh, you know, like level boosting for how much it adds per level. I just have a little bit. So I just pumped health, stamina, and then uh, melee damage. Uh, well, no, I definitely can't take on that level 50 alpha. I mean, if I like healed up to full health, I probably could. But I definitely can't after fighting that first one because I'm on such low health. Oh, oh wait, I shouldn't have dropped that because I can use that to uh, heal me up. I'm not going to heal me up all the way. Uh, I'll probably kill that alpha in another video. You know, just look out for that. Using watermelon to kill level 50 alpha. Alpha, yeah. Megalodon. So I'm going to take my shark, and I'm going to park it in this little cove uh, on this island. Uh, that's one of the main other reasons why I love this island, is because there's that little, that little inlet where I can store water creatures and stuff like that. And I can also take my raft and, you know, over to the mainland and pick up, you know, whatever I tame on the mainland and bring it out here so it can't get attacked. Yeah, there's another megalodon. Uh, if, uh, whenever you kill megalodons or whatever, always make sure to, uh, if you're killing it with a creature, uh, the creature will automatically pick up its items. Uh, it's, uh, like it's, uh, alpha drops or whatever. Uh, so you're going to need these teeth, those megalodon teeth. And then the megalodon fins, those gray, those like dark gray fins, those are from alphas. And you'll get them from alpha sharks and then like 
from like Alpha Tusos, you'll get tentacles, and then Mosas, you'll get teeth, I think. But they're used for like boss battles and stuff. So you'll want to make sure to put those all in a box whenever you get Alpha drops from uh, specific creatures like T Rex or like Alphas or whatever. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, you should be seeing Watermelon in another video, and uh, hope this helped, and I hope you enjoyed.